Hello, 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 hello there, everybody. This is me, Martel. Greeting, greeting, greetings, everyone. This is me, Martel. Just here to make a video to say, what, what is your happiness, black man? So another SYMB episode, and that is, what is your happiness? You know, what's your purpose? What's your goals in life for to save yourself, black man? Mine's is simple, actually. Mine's is very simple, and that is. Just to travel, meet people around the world, you know, entertain, have fun. You know, this dealing with American psychology it's, of itself is very toxic and negative. And let's just get that the way. American psychology is not for black men at all. You know, unless you are, are part of the machine corporation or got big financial backing or you're, or you're rich or something. For the average black man who... You got ambition and goals, I commend you, you know. Whatever your happiness is. And what some say I got this passport and I still hold on to my dreams. I'm I'm struggling right now. Just trying to get these exams out the way because well basically I just finally got my uh first authorized notice or so so I gotta just call my advisor first thing tomorrow, I gotta call them tomorrow. The how to set up these exams. It's like I just realized that turning 32 and on November 1st, I realized I'm not getting any younger here, you know. Um, I'm not happy. I, I, I have to admit that as of right now, I am not happy where I'm at presently, you know. Um, and that's something I think we all struggle with that, you know, for the hard working, clean cut, blue collar, white collar, educated. Or attempt to be educated, um, brother. That's going for their degrees or trade or certificates, or whatever the case may be. What is where is your happiness in life? Mine is. Just, I guess I was told by my uh, therapist, and so people is always so focused on the goal and not just in the present. You know, and it's kind of hard because I'm the type of person I never want to sell for less. You know what I'm saying? And this ain't cool working. You know part-time jobs, being on disability, living in low-income housing and all that, you know, I know I can go way beyond this, you know, I know I can see there's something out there, I just don't, I guess, I got the motivations together, I just like the connections, you know, or the resources, basically, and this is where I come out tonight, um, I forgot what time it is, it's 10.40 p.m., the last day of September and all that, so, my last month being 31, you know, um, by 32 or so, I'm determined to leave the country, you know. I'm determined to leave America for just be real racism, discrimination, feminist bullshit, racist bullshit, job discrimination bullshit. You know, you're tired of lack of opportunities. You're tired, especially I hate the date. So, that's the whole culprit right there. I hate dealing with the woman here in this country is right they, 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 they're disgusting you know I'm talking like literally like the American woman here let's just be real black men they have no class about themselves they trash they got tattoos they cut their hair they look like freaks from a circus it is for what it is you know and some of you say oh there's some good well, I don't give a fuck about that you know I'm wasted right now so I decided to lay down black men you know that's just other half of the battle too, you know. I want to be around better quality of women because let's be real, American women are trash. No matter what color they come in, you know. If they're American, just look at them as all trash off the street. There might be a few good exceptions, but who? Who? Let's be realistic. Who gives a fuck about those few exceptions? You know, of these so-called good women, they don't exist in America. Good women just don't exist in America. You know, there might be a few here and there. I'm not being a bastard if I'm just saying for what it is. In the culture, that's the third part. The culture here is very toxic, you know, antisocial, impossible to meet people, unless it's ain't number all business and politics. And that's just sick, you know. Hey, I got no problem with people making money. That's not what I'm saying. Hey, make your money, you know. But at the expense of losing your culture, your identity, and so forth, you know, but I mean, you deserve to be happy, you know. That's my message, basically. I want to say simply, you deserve to be treated with respect. You deserve to be treated with love and kindness, you know. You deserve to be around real quality women that respect you for being a man. You know, respect you also, not just a man, but being a good person. Let's be realistic in America with, with divorce going on. It's basically marriage and family is a joke. You don't want to have a family here in America, you know. 
American woman no good. I don't give a fuck what color you bitches come in. You know, or what their culture is, you know? If they're American or a slash of West here, they're pretty much no good. We all know this, you know? We've been saying this for years now. I'm I'm ready, to, you know, as I get my... um, Gotta deal with these teachers and so forth. So the advisors say, hey, I need to get my... I need to hurry. I'm going to take this exam because I, I really don't want to be working no dead-end job for the rest of my motherfucking life. You know what I'm saying? And, you know, I'm mad because I want to let this be so, you know. I'm tired of this PC dumb shit. You know what I'm saying? I am not for political correctness whatsoever in this motherfucker time, you know. I want brothers to know black men to know that you're great. You're wonderful. You know what I'm saying? What's the last thing you've been recognized for being who you are instead of what you're not, you know? America is just a, it's a hype culture. America is trash, basically. We already know this. America is not for black men whatsoever, you know. So I said, why do you feel so negative and hate you about your own country? I deal with this my whole entire life. I deal with police brutality. I deal with racism. I deal with um, the to this now dealing with the, the toxicity, uh, feminism, and all that. And job for workforce is toxic. Everything about America is toxic unless you're rich. You know what I'm saying? And I realized this too that I was looking at happier bro expat kings and I'll put their websites in the description below that this much more it is besides bullshit right here in America, you know. I mean other countries got their own problems, I ain't knocking that and all that, but America it's you know, as we know as black men in America, we have no options, you know. And I said just like a few days ago about uh what's your options in America? We're gonna get leftovers, aka single mothers, or you're gonna be single with blue balls for the rest of your life. Or you're going to settle for fat bitches. Man, get the fuck out of here, you know? And I don't say this to black men. I, I just don't give a fuck, you know? Stop being cowards. Stop being cucks, you know what I'm saying? Have some standards about your goddamn selves, you know? I know my message at times been harsh, but this is to say I, I love. Tough love, you know what I'm saying? Because I'm tired of seeing black men on the wrong receiving in the foot, you know, of, of ass. And it's disgusting, you know? And I'm working... I'm. I had to wait a couple more days till Monday, Tuesday. I'll tell you right now, I'm 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 definitely making plans and waves and movement to get the fuck out of this racist ass country. And these and these disrespectful bitches here, you know what I'm saying? It is for what it is. Um, the reason I feel this way cause I'm just so tired of seeing this and dealing with this my whole entire life, not being treated with you know, with anything, you know, not being treated with love, kindness, respect. And that takes a toll. America makes you become an asshole basically. It makes you become basically a, a degenerate, and I don't want to see any of these. I don't want to see any black men become a degenerate. You know what I'm saying? That's what the powers that be trying to do. They try to destroy us and crush our spirits. You know, and black men, you deserve to have a wife. You know, you deserve to have kids. You know, don't let American bullshit and media and social media and mainstream destroy us. You know what I'm saying? Like they said, we all we got. You know, I do want to thank uh, Mad Bus Driver X for starting this movie. You know. But let's be realistic as black men in America here. America is over, man. It's it's flat out over. It doesn't matter what color these goddamn bitches come in or these whores come in. It is for what it is, you know. That's what... Besides just that, it, America is a sinking ship, you know, financially. America have a high debt rate, you know. <laughs> let's just be real. Forget having happiness here in America, you know. Go abroad, you know. Go abroad to get abroad. So that's all I got to say for now. Thank you for watching. You deserve to be happy.